morning. Welcome to today's newspaper review. Today we'll be reviewing two newspapers, The Daily Nation and The Standard. I'm Faith Mutete. And I'm Stephanie Mwangi. So on The Daily Nation, on the first page, the main story is about the battle to save broke universities as the Education Minister, George Magoha, has embarked on a mission to shut down or merge several campuses to the chagrin of vice chancellors and staff. Other stories on page one include, stars go for glory in Egypt, where Africa's finest football nations are in Egypt for the 32nd Africa Cup of Nations AFCON finals that will see Kenyans, Kenyans Harambe stars make a comeback after 15 years in the cold. On page 9, we have the headline being No Going Back or Not Recall, says the governor, where Central Bank of Kenya rules out extension of October 1st deadline for the demonetization of the 1,000 shillings currency note. So on the pullout, we have the headline being Employment, No Thank You, a feature story about four students who won't have to look for job opportunities after they are done with school. The second page, the headline is Unique Shrines Dual, Christian Kamba Heritage, a story about the Komarok Shrine in Machakos, and on the second page, we also have another headline of UNICEF and Nokia partner in bid to spread digital literacy. On the pullout section, my network, we have the headline being No, we won't need jobs after graduation. A story about four students in university, Magzine Wabosha, Tess Kori, Mumbi Masharia, Kailan Kito, <laughs> Kailan Kito, who have engaged in money-making ventures while in school. The last page of Daily Nation, the headline is 69,000 newborns at risk due to ARVs crisis, where about 69,000 children born of HIV-positive mothers risk getting infected due to a shortage of some ARVs. In the standards cover page, we have Jubilee crisis. MP list eight demands. The Jubilee MPs alleged to root off list grievances fueling division in party and what and want a meeting to discuss 22 succession plan and handshake among others. That is a story you can find on page 6. It's a new dawn for the youth. After private sectors pledges 100 billion shillings to create employment for the youth. And then on page 4, we have it's a big win for men in fight for custody for children. And on the business sector, we have the maiden euro bond come due next week. So the Central Bank of Kenya will make a payment of 80 billion for controversy international debts on Monday. On the pullout part, we have the African Cup of Nations. After 15 years wait, it is here. The Afcon and until July 19, Kenyans have a chance of cheering on the national team Harambe Stars. On page two, on Tuesday, a boat that the Kenya Revenue Authority officers used to fight smugglers on Lake Victoria developed a mechanical problem, leaving them stranded. On page 3, it's misery of hunting for the elusive new passports. Thousands eager to get the e-passport ahead of the August 31 deadline when the old ones will expire. On page 6 of the Pulse magazine, we have a feature story on Catello, who is the next big thing in comedy. And you can get to see, you can get to read his story on page 6 of the Pulse magazine. Then we have a story on Mr. Seed. This week saw the revelation of yet another scandal involving a gospel artist and has and as we have come to expect, there were denials, counter accusation and a feeling that the brand needed more protection than the accuser. This is a story of Mr. Seed cheating on his wife Nemo. And on the final page, on the back page, we have um, Kahata seeks to dribble into the Afghan film. Gormahia's midfielder hopes to extend exemplary club form to the Africa Cup of Nations. And then we have FIFA is expected to take over running of the Afghan from the Confederation of African Football. And that's all for today. For the Lendo News, I'm Stephanie Mwangi. I'm Faith Mutete.